Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Studio. and today I'm going to show you how to create that cinematic title in DaVinci Resolve. So let's check it out. All right, so in DaVinci Resolve right now on the edit page and I'm going to start by uh, bringing here a new fusion composition in my timeline. So I'm going to go over to effect, then I'm going to scroll down to effect right here, fusion composition, and then we're just going to drag that in our timeline. Now that we've got the fusion composition, we can move over to the fusion page. Now that I am in fusion, I'm going to drag a background here in my working area and then I'm going to drag a text in the working area. I'm just then going to link the output of the text to the background and we're going to link then the output of the merge to to the media out. Now the background, I'm just going to select it and here bring the alpha channel down to zero and then I'm going to go to the text and here write whatever text I want. So here I'm going to go with video editor studio cinematic i'm gonna switch here the font for balo which is a free font that you can download uh, from google font so let's just swap that instead of bold here i'm gonna switch it for regular and then i'm just gonna decrease a bit the size and increase the tracking between the letter that's generally uh, something that creates some quote-unquote cinematic title is uh, increasing the tracking and that's just uh, giving a different look now I'm just going to select my merge tool and I'm going to hit shift space on my keyboard and I'm going to search for glow. We're going to bring a glow node here and then I'm just going to reduce a bit the size of the glow and increase uh, the glow intensity. I'm happy with that. Now let's just move on to creating the actual animation. So I'm going to select my text one and here I'm going to right click on the text box and we're going to just use the follow modifier. So let's click on the follow modifier. It open that modifier window. Let's switch to that. What the follower modifier is going to enable us to do is just basically animate uh, each letter individually. So here I'm going to switch from automatic to random, but one by one. That's just going to bring the letter one by one. And here the delay, I'm going to do 0 0.3. This is going to be the amount of delay between each letter. Now let's actually create the animation. So I'm going to go over to shading and we're going to make that animation over the span of three seconds. So in that case, that will be about 75 frame. So I'm going to drop a keyframe here on the opacity. Then I'm going to go to frame zero and I'm going to bring the opacity down to zero. Now let's go back to frame 75. I'm going to scroll down a little bit and here we're going to make also some keyframing on the softness. I'm going to drop a keyframe here on the Y of the softness and then I'm going to go down to frame zero and we're going to increase that to the maximum. Here, as you can see, that's what's going to give that uh, blurry effect. We do it only vertically because now we're just going to make the animation going from uh, top to bottom. And so I think it's just nicer to have it only vertically rather than horizontally as well. All right, now let's move on to the position to make an some animation on the position. So here we're just going to open that tab. We're going to make some animation on the offset X and Y. So here I'm going to go at frame 75 and I'm going to drop a keyframe on the offset. Here it just opened the displacement as you can see. And there is a green dot right here that just appear. So we're just going to have to, that's the first point, the point that we placed at 75. And now we're just going to have a second keyframe at zero. So we're going to go at zero and then we're going to increase the displacement up to one. And it's just creating a second point right here, uh, which is the point that we created at the frame zero. So now let's just move that point here and put it up top. So that's just going to be the movement of our letter. Now, as you can see, we have a movement going from top to bottom. Now let's play it to see where we at. And that's pretty much it. We're getting there. Now we're just going to make some quick modification here on the spline to just adjust the curve. So I'm just going to select here all the points that we've created and I'm just going to bring all those points right here. Um, actually, I'm not going to make any modification to the opacity or the softness. We're just going to make some modification here to the displacement point. So I'm just going to select them, hit the letter S on my keyboard, then hit the letter T to bring the ease in and ease out. And we're going to change the ease in for 85. Now let's play it. 
the movement looks a tiny bit smoother to me like that. Uh, I prefer it. Now, if you want to have more delay between each letter, you can do that fairly easily by just selecting the text again, going to the modifier, select the follower, and here in the follower, going back to timing, and you can adjust the delay here if you want to increase it at 0.8, for example. As you can see now, it will just create uh, more delay between each letter. So let's play it and see how it affects the composition. I think I'm pretty happy with that. That will be the final result. And that's pretty much it. That's one way to create some cinematic title in DaVinci Resolve. Please let me know in a comment what kind of video you would like to see next. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you on the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.